It's Thursday, we're here at Springfield, uh, joined by Gary. It's sweltering heat here today. Uh, how's everyone coped with the training? Yeah, it's been good. Probably good preparation for the weekend ahead. So it's going to be hot here Saturday. So, no, no, we've, we've been used to it over the summer. So it's been a good summer. So, no, we'll be looking forward to it. Speaking of uh, the game on Saturday, we've got our first home game of the season up against Guildford at 3pm. Uh, much like fun and they've changed managers since we last faced them. Is it challenging constantly having to face rotating teams? Yeah, it makes it hard for us to get any information on teams. Um, We'll be expecting a tough game. They had a great result in the FA Cup last weekend, so I'm sure they'll be on a high from that. Um, the manager's been here before with Shearwater, I believe, and they've signed a few from Shearwater, and there's, you know, they've made a few good signings in the last couple of weeks. So it's going to be a challenging game, which you know every game in this league uh, is. You know, there's no, there's no easy games. You've got to work very hard in every game, and no Saturday be no different in the heat. Yeah, so we'll be looking forward to the game. Yeah. Yeah. Have there been any new players come back in from uh, injury in the last uh, week um, or so? Yeah, it's, it's, we've got a couple. Um, you know, Fraser is all right. Sorry, Fraser wasn't injured, but Adam Trotter came in NAFCA, missed the last game. They've both trained fine this week, so they'll be involved. Um, we've got a few away on holiday, typical August. Yeah, so a big rotation of our players as well. But it's the reason we've got a big squad, and yeah, no, we'll be looking forward to it with the group we got. Yeah, well, you're going to need a big squad because we've also got um, Banstead away on Tuesday. Um, have you been able to prepare much for that one? No, we're focusing on Saturday. Really, Saturday's the first game ahead, and then we'll think about Tuesday. Um, the squad for both games will be very similar, so there's not too many who are not here on Saturday or back for Tuesday. So there'll be the same sort of 16 involved in both. So we'll manage it as best as we can through the two games, um, and it'll be difficult games to two of them, yeah. Yeah, speaking of difficult games, I mean, the last game we did play against Banstead, we did lose that brutal last second goal. Um, is that sort of the sort of thing that changes the mentality of the team going into those games? Um, not really, no. I think I think that was part of a period last year where we did learn a bit. Hopefully we're going to learn from that and those sort of games where we've been caught late on. I think Banstead, from what I hear again, there'll be a big rotation in their group, so I don't know what playing squad they'll have, so we'll just have to deal with it on a day. But um, knowing Carl, their manager, from the you know the last couple of seasons we've been involved with him, he'll have them well organised and well up for it, so it'll be another difficult game. Yeah. Well, we'll be looking forward to it. And um, the one thing we are looking forward to is obviously the home fans coming back here for a league game again. Um, do you have a favourite chant? Um, no, I think I think they're all uh, they're all excellent to be fair. But I think yeah, we've had the pre-season games here, but there's nothing like a game at home when there's three points involved. So hopefully there'll be a big crowd. Hopefully the lads and the balls pen will be nice and loud. There is a few chants I like, but um, I like the Ewan one. But he's not here on Saturday, so. I'm sure they'll come up with something different. Yeah, we're still waiting for Richard Eber to get his song out, so maybe we'll get that going. Oh, for now we'll have to settle for Gary Freeman's Red and White Army. Well, yeah, okay. Cool. Thank you very <laughs> much, Gary. Yeah.